Howdy gamers, Rose here with another Realm video. The Realm Rework Open Beta is in full swing and that means all new enemies, all new biomes, and plenty of empty character slots. But none of those are why you're here today. Today, I want to quickly cover everything we know about fishing and how you can take it, use it to take a mini break from the stresses of the new realm while still getting a few pots on the side. If you're new, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and if you'd like to support me even more, consider becoming a member here or on Patreon, or by picking up some of the merch. In this video, I plan on covering where to find the fishing minigame, how to play it, how to get a bunch of stat pots from it, and at the end, I'll cover some quick tips. So, first off you ask, Roast, where the hell is this minigame? Now, originally, I thought it would spawn randomly as a free stat pots minigame could present balance issues if it's too easy to find. But it turns out that it always spawns in the same biome, the coral reef biome near one of the oceans at the edge of the map. Now, I don't know if this fishing minigame spawns in every realm, or only sometimes, so look in it with a group of people for your best results. Once you've found the fishing pond, you can talk to the fisherman there to get a little text document of how to play. And here's a tech, here's a verbal summary of that. You're going to want to pick up a fishing rod item from a barrel and consume it like a potion to get a bobber summon that will spawn at your feet. You can control this bobber like you would control your summoner's summons. For me, that is holding the little bounce button to tell it where to go. If you don't know what that keybind is for you, it's going to be under your settings, controls, general, and it's the fourth option down. Your goal is to hover the bobber over fishing puddles that will appear. As they appear, they flash a color that I believe indicates rarity, and a few seconds later, the puddle will splash and vanish. If your bobber is on these puddles when they splash, you should see a purple damage text pop up to indicate you succeeded, and if you're lucky, a cyan bag will spawn somewhere beneath you on the ground with a fish inside, or sometimes multiple. Now, what do you do with the fish, you ask? Well, let me tell you. Every so often, the fisherman will say something like, please bring me this rarity of fish. And for a while, I couldn't figure out which ones he wanted or how to turn them in. Here's how. When he says this, he will be surrounded by a bunch of colored orbs, kind of similar to the heroic orbs that can spawn as dungeon modifiers. These orbs represent the rarity he needs and the number. On the fish items you loot, their rarity is represented by a colored gem in the corner, and it's also in the text tooltip if you hover it, but look at the colored gem to make it quick and easy. Whenever the prompt for new rarities appears, use the corresponding fish from your inventory or from the bags while standing near the fisherman to turn them in. Once all of the rarities have been turned in, a chest will spawn a few seconds later, and you will hit that chest to get stat pots. That's all the basics, but let me cover a few more important things real fast. First, every so often the pond will come alive and a bunch of mobs with sicken shots will spawn, so kill them and be careful. Second, if you step in the pond you'll be teleported back a bit because you're not supposed to go into it, so don't do that. I haven't really messed around with going around the pond, but usually I've had plenty of fish caught just standing next to the fisherman. Third, you don't actually have to pick up the fishing rod, you can just shift click it or double click it from the barrel to get the bobber without using it in an inventory slot, and on that note, try to do this mission with an empty inventory or backpack if you have one to make turning fish in easier. Fourth, working in a group and keeping the highest rarity fish you find should make the quest go by the fastest. And finally, there are rumors of a boss fight tied to the fisherman, but I have not yet seen that myself. Best of luck in your fishing journeys, thanks you so much for watching, and make sure to comment below what you want to see next. Thank you as always to my patrons, I hope to see you all in my next video, so subscribe so you see that and turn on the bell all. and until then, keep it beefy boys. Hello there.